Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. So this video is going to get a little lengthy, but there has been a lot of mess going on uh, in Masterpiece family. And this is due in part to people's, I guess, uh, newfound interest in uh, his brother, Corey Miller, also known as C-Murder's uh, murder conviction. Uh, that took place in 2002. If you watch the No Limit Chronicles, that uh, was a series on BET, you were, you were, if you didn't know anything about Master P and his family, you were introduced to them and you saw how he built his empire and put his people on and also how one of his brothers, Corey, like I said, also known as C Murder, but I'm going to try to call him Corey in this video, was uh, convicted uh, because he was accused of killing a young teenager in a club, right? Now, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit, just quickly, Master P don't get the flowers that he deserves. People always kind of like put Jay-Z up here on this pedestal of being this businessman, being able to transition from music to other stuff, but they don't give Master P nearly enough credit, like I think he should get, for what he was able to do. Not only was he able to basically build this musical empire and put his people on, put his family on, buy folks houses and shit like that. But he was also able to not only, he played in the NBA for a short stint and he basically put his kids into like, they, they were on Nickelodeon shows and shit like that. And then he was able to venture off into other stuff. He has built a multi-million dollar empire, right? And so that's important to remember as we look at this in this entirety, okay? But we're going to focus mo mainly on C-Murder. So I said I was going to call him Corey. Lord, Corey, Corey Miller. So ever since the BET um, series No Limit Chronicles aired and it showed this whole thing regarding uh, Corey and how he was um, accused, tried and convicted of killing uh, a young man by the name of Steve Thomas in 2002, uh, people have been interested in the case and the case definitely, um, when you look at the details of it, even me personally, I feel like he got railroaded, right? He was convicted in a 10 to two jury. Um, there was no physical evidence, no DNA evidence. There were just witness testimonies, right? In which the witnesses most recently, a couple of years back, recanted their stories and said that they were coerced into saying that Corey was indeed the shooter, right? Um, I even watched this um, thing called Reasonable Doubt. It's on the ID channel. You may be able to catch it on Prime. But basically, his ex-wife, this ex-wife and his daughter uh, sat down and they were trying to, to help. They have been trying to help get Corey out, Right. And they all, they were, they came to learn, uh, based on the investigators on, uh, reasonable doubt that, uh, two wit witnesses had recanted their stories. Now, a year after this aired, which was last year, this, um, last year, uh, his case went back up in front of a judge and they were denied. He was denied a retrial and he was denied to have his conviction overturned. He is basically, uh, he was sentenced to life and the judge basically said the conviction stands and the sentence stands because those witnesses were not credible, which was a, just another huge blow for all the people that have been working for years on this case. And I'm emphasizing for years because this is where the drama blows up yesterday right? So, um, when people took this newfound interest in, uh, Corey's case because of the No Limit Chronicles and, uh, Kim Kardashian, Monica, you know, they had, you know, got on board and they had started kind of talking about it and stuff like that. And, uh, Master P of course, who has never really stopped talking about it, he uh, posted something on Instagram to pretty much acknowledge it. He says, it's been a long journey fighting for my brother, Corey Miller's innocence, and I applaud the celebrities that are joining the movement. His case has recently received renewed interest due to the No Limit Chronicles. The key witness in the trial revealed that the police forced him to lie. The incident happened in 2002, although several witnesses have recanted their stories. My brother has been denied a new trial after multiple times. An innocent man is still incarcerated. He was sentenced to life in prison 
Johnson at the Louisiana State Penitentiary, even though there are no forensic evidence tying him to the homicide. Right. So uh, Master P acknowledged that he saw because Kim Kardashian, as I'll show you, uh, has been getting involved in it. As you know, she's been working towards uh, becoming a lawyer and she's taken on some cases. She said on January 18, 2002, a tragedy occurred when a young man was killed. The next day, Corey Miller was arrested for the murder. Today, I'm teaming up with Monica Denise, Jessica Jack Jackson, and Edie Haney to free Corey Miller. My heart goes out to the family of Steve Thomas. I can only imagine how hard this is. And my intention is never to open up this painful wound, but to help find the truth behind this tragedy. Okay. And so Monica, who uh, see uh, Corey, I have to stop saying see murder. Corey had a relationship with, well, back in the like late nineties, early two thousands or something along those lines, right? When she was a, you know, pretty young, you know, Monica had been in the game for a minute, but he had a relationship with her. They've never really stayed out of touch. And so Monica also uh, posted something regarding this when everybody was kind of talking about it. She said, See, murder and I are bonded by truth, honesty, and loyalty. There's never been a promise broken, and I vowed to seek help. After a tearful conversation with Lala, she and I spoke to Kim Kardashian, and I explained why I knew Corey was innocent. I shared that there are lots of issues in Corey's case that speak to his innocence, including witnesses recanting their testimony, DNA not matching, and a 10-2 jury. Corey deserves to come home to, to his girls and be the father they need, be the artist and leader he's always been, as well as spread hope to those who have also experienced this. I've locked on with Jessica Jackson, Kim Kardashian, Edie Haney, and all of those who believe in Corey and are ready to fight too. Okay, free Corey Miller. All right. So when Kim, of course, when Kim posted, this went viral, right? Because like I said, Kim has been, I guess, working to try to help people get out of jail. So see murder. This is now, you know, he's in jail, but this is what he posted. It said seven months ago, I called Monica Denise and she conferenced in Kim Kardashian. I did not know Moses had been working to reach Kim after our call for the first time in 19 years. I slept. You can rest behind these walls, but you never can actually sleep. My case has been stagnant for years. So I published multiple books to help feed my kids and pay lawyers bare minimum. I am a man. So it was no one's responsibility to save me and no one attempted to, but when you trust God, he will send his angels. This message is to any man or woman fighting the injustices of the system. Don't ever give up and do as I am focus on the blessings, not the betrayals. And I think when Corey posted that, um, Master P felt some type of way. He felt some type of way. And I'll explain to you why I understand that, but I'll do that a little later. But he felt some type of way because I'm sure that, again, his family have been working for years. As I showed you, his wife, his ex-wife was on reasonable doubt. They were trying to get to the bottom of this and help, right? And so um, Master P posted a video yesterday that this is kind of, where the drama kind of kicked off yesterday, right? But he posted a video, but under his video, as I'm going to read to you, he posted this message, okay? Because you, you can tell that he was definitely not feeling what was being said out there, okay? And he said, um, hold on, let's get to it. He said, I put my trust in God. This is my angel, the lady that put the house up for my brother the first time he went to jail that I paid for. This is not about money. He needed property that was worth at least a million in Louisiana as collateral. RIP Big Mama, you will never be forgotten. Free Corey Miller. We worked so hard to change his name back to Corey Miller. Then these fake people you see murder again. The system convinced him on his name and lyrics. The only way to get back in front of the board is to show change and growth. The truth always prevails. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every lying tongue that rises against us, Father God, you shall condemn. So as I said, Master P felt some type of way, like you sitting out here calling people your angels, but uh, we've been in this. 
We've been doing this. Then he said, there's nothing more important to me than family. And when a family member is incarcerated or hurt, the whole family is affected. But if you truly believe in God, you know that every man is accountable for their own actions. We also have family members that make poor decisions that result in painful consequences, but put the blame on others to avoid taking responsibility themselves. It's time for me to be truthful with my own family. None of us are perfect, but we are not going to grow if we don't face the truth with each other. We need to stop being afraid to speak up, tell the truth, confront and correct each other in love. Everything is not about money. I'm tired of family members looking at me like an ATM. The Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but to love them. I have went be above and beyond for all of my family members, whether they deserve it or not. And most of them are ungrateful. My brother is innocent. Okay. And uh, I'll show you the next slide as it comes up. Hold on. You know, I tried to give it enough time because some people say I, just, I read too fast. And I probably really, really do. Okay. So he goes on to say, we have been fighting this case since 2002. And I know that he is frustrated, but he can't continue to blame his family for his predicament when he has constantly put his trust in his friends. All his co-defendants, a.k.a. friends, the ones that were in the club with him on the day of the incident, testified against Corey and stated that he was the one that committed the crime so that they could save themselves and get out of jail. He never said anything negative about those friends, wrote any songs about them, talked about them in interviews, or wrote any books about them. But he did speak against negatively against our family, even against his own mother and father, and we still love him and will continue to fight for him. Whoever wrote the Instagram post that the bloggers and the media are talking about doesn't even sound like my brother or something that he would say. And the only reason I'm addressing this is because I will not allow him or his friends to make a mockery out of our family that has been dedicated, committed, and continue to be here for him, even when the fakers and publicity goes away. I'm tired of family members thinking I'm supposed to fix all of their problems. I'm not God. I love my brother and I'm praying for the best for him. God knows the truth. And he added, see murder. Silk the Shocker, which is also his brother, Monica and Kim Kardashian. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to show you a video in a little bit that kind of wraps all of this up as to where all of this energy comes from, because he mentions Monica in, uh, the video that you're going to see. And he says how Monica, you was married. Uh, you just got divorced and you out here talking about you fighting for my brother, blah, 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 blah. And so when the video went viral, <clears throat> Monica basically responded to what uh, Master P said in the video. And I'm showing you all of this before I actually play the video because the video is like to wrap up everything so that you can make up your own mind about how you feel about this situation, right? But uh, Master P basically called her out, right? He called out Monica and all these people. He's talking about, you know, y'all now y'all want to call, you know, my brother. We've been helping my brother. And all of a sudden, everybody else is an angel now. Now these are his angels, even though we've been doing the work and putting in the work to try to help my brother. All right. So like I said, Monica responded to the video be went because it went viral basically. And he put her name in it. I mean, so she naturally responded to it. Right. And so uh, Monica basically comes back at Master P with her own response and it just gets messy from here y'all it just gets really really messy from here okay so let me read what monica said to master p she said master p i have been respectful towards you and you have refused to do the same you cannot speak on me because you do not know me i have only conversed with silk this matter is between you men your brothers leave me out of this because my efforts have been the same i just didn't send the I didn't see the need to post it. Check the visiting list from the parish to Angola to the hunt or better yet, ask his children. You responded before you read. I connected him to Kim seven months ago. He's never not been able to hit me, my mother or brother and get what he needs. Focus on his freedom. And then super put her two cents in it. She said, it's crazy how your name keeps coming up. First, he spoke on your previous relationship as if that had anything to do with C. And folks was like, okay, super, stay out of this. Now your man was already looking, looking at juveniles, looking at little girls. You might want to just stand down and stay up out of family business, right? 
But that's a whole nother thing. Master P responded, said, speaking the truth is not being disrespectful. It's just reality. At Monica, I don't know you and I ain't trying to get to know you. Just for the record, you stated that you've been on C's visiting list since Parish. That's over 18 years. And how long have you known Kim K? You just now got your BFF to send out a tweet. I guess better now than never. And you've been married twice during that time. So you are his ride or die. You or any other woman don't have to prove y'all loyalty to our family. It's, if y'all agenda is real and it's to help him get out, then do it. He said, I ain't trying to get to know. And stop talking. The mission for my family is always going to be about getting my brother's freedom. We're family. No matter what happens, we going to always be brothers. This is not about me. I'm standing up for the older people in my family and have been getting disrespected and disregarded for too long when they've been there for C since day one. The truth needs to be told. It might make some uncomfortable, but it's well overdue. This is the only way we can heal and grow as a family. Now y'all want to say, keep it private. I don't know her. None of them. Yes. People that she'd been talking shit about me and my family. She addressed me on social media. I was only speaking the truth. These are the facts and you can research shit. I don't mess with nobody. And they start slick talking first and thought it was funny. So if you don't want to hear more truth, keep my name out your mouth. Y'all been playing with me since last week with this fake shit. Now it got real. What the enemy meant for evil, God will use for our good. And see a Scorpio or Aries because he said, you don't know me. You ain't trying to get to know. I ain't trying to get to know you. Then he apologized and said, I have no beef with Monica Denise. She got caught up into some family drama that we have to fix. And I'm man enough to admit it. No family is perfect. We all go through turmoil. But with God, all things are possible. I love my brother and can't wait till he get home. We can't allow the devil to steal our joy. We are bigger than this. And so he added his brother, Silk the Shock. And, and because I do think that uh, the darts <laughs> that he had for Monica was just misplaced anger, right? I, I'm still kind of like, I, I hollered when he said, I don't know you and I'm not trying to get to know you. I was like, is this man a Scorpio or Aries? Because that just sounds like something that Aries might say. But anyway, um... I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to kind of present all of that to you guys because it got really, really messy yesterday. But I got to, I got to say this. I don't think he said nothing wrong. I don't think that Master P said anything wrong. Now, again, I do think he had some misplaced anger from Monica when I felt like maybe if he could have talked to Corey directly and Corey responded in turn, I think he would have gave that energy to Corey at that moment. But I think Monica just got hit, right? I just think she just got hit. But I personally still don't feel at the end of the day that Master P said anything wrong, all right? And, and, and let me kind of break it down as to why. Ever since Corey has been incarcerated, and it's been a long time, as you can see from, um, from these things that I've just read to you, his family, they've been supporting him. They've been paying for lawyers for him. Right. And so now that people got this new foul interest because the no limit chronicles just aired. Now, all of a sudden it's like, oh, people are saying, I've seen all the comments under the, uh, on Twitter and, and, and on Instagram, like, Oh, Master P, what, what Master P been doing for them all this time? That, that, you know, as soon as Kim K came in on the scene, like, oh, well, you know, Kim K do more for black people than anybody. What Master P been doing all these years? And I, I can see why he would feel a type of way and his family. Like, what the hell? We've been doing this shit. We've been putting in the work for years. At the, and, and, and people sitting here acting like Kim is just this, she can just wave her magic wand and get this man out. He has been getting denied time after time after time. As, and people are acting like he, nobody ever attempted. I just showed you that his ex-wife and daughter had teamed up with the ID channel on that episode. And let me tell you, I hope you guys get a chance to actually watch the episode. It's called, the episode is literally called The Code. All right. Um, Corey himself was like, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I'm not telling because the truth of the matter is nobody truly believes that, that has looked at this case believes that Corey did this, right? Nobody really believes that he actually did this. And matter of fact, I saw some, some people, you know, on Instagram and Twitter saying, yeah, we in new Orleans, we know who did it, but dude is dead now. 
But before he even died, Corey wasn't willing to say who actually pulled the trigger. He was never down with that. Even if you watch the episode, it, you could just see the hurt in his ex-wife and his daughter's heart. Like, you sitting here doing a bid. You sitting here doing somebody else's time and you didn't even do it and you're not even willing to say. But again, listen, that street code, they live by that code. And this man was willing to be away from his family, knowing that he could have actually helped himself a long time ago. But because he lived by that code, he wasn't willing to do it like that. It's like, no, if I'm going to get out, I'm going to get out because this is bullshit. And I was railroaded. I'm not going to get out because I told who actually did it. But sometimes you have to think about like, but you was away from your family. So Master P might feel like, listen, we've been trying to help you. We've been trying to do all of this stuff for you, but how, how can we help you if you won't even attempt to help yourself in many cases? And now you're sitting here acting like we ain't did shit for you. And then when Kim Kardashian come through, even though my, our grandmother put up her house, now Kim is your angel. And for the record, listen, this is a state criminal offense. Kim Kardashian may, may have been, been, been able to go and, and talk to Trump about federal things like drug crimes and stuff like that and drug trafficking. But this is a state criminal offense. Trump has no power here. He cannot pardon state cases. So Kim would have to basically be at the mercy of the Louisiana governor. And Louisiana don't play that shit. They don't bend that easily. Hell, there's a man doing life in jail down there. And they this his uh, case just recently came out in the news where um, the state Supreme Court of Louisiana uh, basically made his life sentence standing. You know what his uh, what he was accused of? Stealing some goddamn garden shears. And be and prior to that, he had had several offenses. So because he had several offenses, when this came up and he find and he got caught with garden shears, they sentenced this man to life. And the state wouldn't even overturn a life sentence for a petty theft. So. What do you think they're going to do for a murder? Now, listen, I'm not against Kim Kardashian. If, if the girl can do something, fine. But I don't like this whole white savior shit that people be putting out there. I hate that. I hate that narrative that all of a sudden she swoops in and saves the day. And again, Master P like, damn, we've been down with my brother since day one. We've been putting in our money since day one. We've been trying since day one. All right. We're not with the fake shit. And listen, if you ain't never had nobody incarcerated, you ain't never had nobody in prison, you, you may not understand this, but I know exactly what he feel like. I've heard too many conversations between, between my mama and daddy uh, growing up. You know, my brother was incarcerated for a really long time and he would be calling with attitudes and shit. And I remember my mama saying like, listen, don't get mad at us. We ain't did it. You know, spending hundreds of dollars on phone calls every month. You know, me spending weekends while I should in high school when I should be at dances and shit like that, spending weekends, uh, you know, at a prison on a hard ass seat, waiting hours to see my brother. So I know what I feel like. And then when he get out, you know, me trying to help him and him, him still not, it's still not being enough, still not being enough. I don't even speak to my brother now. And that's unfortunate because it's just the same bullshit, right? People, you know, it's just like, you do all this shit for people. And then when they get out, it's like, they go off and do their shit. But now it's like, do you remember, you, can you, do you remember all the times that I did this and this and this? I don't need anything. I don't need no money back, but at least a little gratitude. Like, thank you, sister. Thank you. You know, and I don't, it's, it's just like, it's whatever, right? And because you love your family. You want you. And so I don't believe all this bullshit. I see people talking about, oh, he must not want his brother out. I don't believe that's the case at all. I just believe that he felt some type of way. Like all of a sudden it's like, oh, now people are trying as if again, his ex-wife, uh, Corey's ex-wife been trying, uh, Master P been financing a lot of this shit. And then for Corey, if he wrote that to say, hey, ain't nobody ever did nothing for me. I, I can imagine how Master P and his family might be feeling about that. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the video. Uh, it's about seven minutes long. And this is kind of the video that happened before Monica responded so you can see it. I want you to see it in its entirety because I think he didn't say nothing wrong personally to me. He didn't say shit wrong because if, like I said, if you've ever had an incarcerated family member that has acted even just ungrateful, I can imagine how frustrating it must be to be behind bars, but shit, when you have people 
down for you from day one and then other people swoop in, you might feel some type of way too. You do. But at the end of the day, I do believe Corey was railroaded. And I, I, but Louisiana just don't play that. And Master P, he knows that too. He know that too. So anyway, I want you guys to watch the video in its entirety. And you just kind of make up your own mind about how you feel about this stuff. I don't think Monica, mean, you know, mean any harm and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I could just see why Master P feel like he, like he feels. And I, like I said, I don't think he said anything, anything wrong. Nothing. And that's just, that's just that on that. That's how I feel. But anyway, uh, do me a favor before this uh, video pops up. Do me a favor, uh, like, comment down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell also there so that you can receive, um, you know, the notification whenever I post another video. I'm up to 26,000 subscribers, y'all, in like a, like a day and a half. Thank y'all. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, so this is probably one of the hardest things I ever had to do, but uh, Jesus told his disciples, go out and be truthful, and whoever can appreciate that, just dust your feet off and keep it moving. Uh, this is not about me. This is about the older people in my family that has no verse when it comes to what's going on right now. Uh, and they shouldn't be talked about the way they have been. And any of y'all have any relatives that incarcerated that you know that's ungrateful, then you probably can understand this, especially if you did everything you could do. Like my mom, my dad, uh, my sisters, my brothers, aunties, uncles, I know they've been, them went above and beyond to help my brother. And I'm real disappointed because I didn't even know he had a social media. But when I checked and checked and seen like who he's following and what he was saying, you know, some of the stuff don't even look like he wrote it, but if he did, or it's his people, uh, you know, you know, bloggers, the devil, fake media people, they're gonna take that stuff and run because they all about devouring and conquering. And everything that my family worked for, our reputation, you know, just because somebody that's incarcerated uh, say whatever, they, it, it's entertainment for the world. But this, this is not entertainment, this is not fun. This is, this is hurtful. Uh, you know, I know my brother said that he put some books out and made bare minimum and that's the way he take care of his family, which, you know, in those books is what I disagree with. He talked about my mom, my dad, the people that created him. He said that they didn't do nothing for him, which is a lie. And anybody that know me, I don't need to be pat on the back or nothing. Whatever I've done, I've done for him. I've done it out of love. Uh, my grandmother, she's not here right now. She's my angel. I know that. And she should be his angel. I've never heard him talk about her like that. But I know Kim Kardashian put out one tweet, and she his angel which is crazy to me, but I appreciate it. Like I said, my brother is innocent and I hope she can get him out. I want him to come home. Uh, I see where Monica is right or die. He just started talking back to her seven months ago. And I know maybe it's prison talk, uh, you know, I know he, he's incarcerated and I get that, but still you have to have a heart for the people that really helped you. Uh, Monica just got divorced last year. So I'm thinking like, that's your ride or die. That's cool if that's the way you feel. But let's be real. I have family members that think my brother coming home and they're not truthful. Maybe Silk's scared to tell them the truth. My sister, my aunties, uncles, everybody think that this man is coming home and he's going to get a settlement. He's going to take care of everybody. But the truth is, and I know the truth hurt. What did he do the first time he was home? Who did he help? Why do people owe him when his friends has him incarcerated. That's the real reason he's, he's incarcerated. I changed my life and I left those same friends behind because they didn't want to do right. They wasn't on the same page I was on. So God said, you got to cut people off. You got to do the right thing. And this to my brother, if you sit in that cell, or you got social media, you can see this because I'm not coming to the jailhouse no more. You know, I'm not getting filled on, uh, you know, touching on my ass, doing the same thing, looking for, do I have something on me? No, I don't. I changed my life. 
My grandmother that's deceased now, they was touching on her ass every time she go down there and people still ungrateful. My mom, my dad, my brothers, aunties, uncles, everybody get filled on. When you go to prison to go see somebody, you might not come home either. I'm not going through that no more for ungrateful people. So all y'all bloggers or whatever, y'all could understand one thing. The ATM, I'm pulling the plug off. Because people that's ungrateful and don't appreciate me, even my own family members, they'll forget. Because you can give people, they hit you. I'm an ATM, I get it. That's what I am. I'm an ATM and now I'm a square because I'm not in the hood. I'm only not in the hood because I did the right thing. And I changed, which everybody else could change. But when you go to the club, and you convicted of a crime that somebody else commit because you're with the wrong people. And then the people that's with you, you call them the cut boys. That's who taking care of your business. Why you you locked up, they're on the streets, and they all been turned on you, and you say nothing about it. You never made a record about them. You never wrote a book about them turning on you. I mean, how could you? How is that real? How is that true? Because that's your word, true. They turned on you, bro. You could have been home with your family 18 years ago. I mean, how long Monica been knowing Kim Kardashian? You done did a hunger strike, everything, bro. This could have been done. If it's going to happen, it's just not that easy. Man, Jimbo did 22 years, and he said, cuz, guess why I came home? Because I used to be mad with you. The same way your brother is, but nobody telling him the truth. You paid for lawyers, you did all this stuff, we get it. But he said, guess what? My cellie told me, you mad at people, what have you done for Pete? Have you ever made him a card for his birthday? Have you ever sent him a Christmas card or made him a belt, anything? Nobody never done that, because no people always say, where do you get the man that has everything? What about just love? What about a simple thank you? Matt family called me and said, thank you, Master Pete, for talking about my son's story in No Limit Chronicles. It made a big difference. Hopefully my son will come home soon. So that's integrity. That's people that have humility. Uh, I'm focusing on giving back to underprivileged communities, helping the next generation with education, uh, helping the elderly. That's what I'm doing with my resources. I'm not wasting it on, no more on family members that's ungrateful. I know that's why millionaires and billionaires say, you know what, I'm gonna give my money back to charity. I'm not leaving it for ungrateful family members, man. I never thought I'd feel that way, but it's the truth. So people don't have to worry about me and what I'm doing or what I work for. Uh, when you look at my grandmother that's not here, I had to pay somebody to get you to her funeral, which is crazy, and you forgot. Everything costs money. Other people are spending their money and you're not thinking about even if somebody said they know the date, but they done told you a hundred times, yeah. That's love, bro. These people who you put your trust in, your friends, they only there for the publicity. When the publicity over, nobody's gonna help you or nobody's gonna be there for you but your family. Us, the ones that love you. So bro, wake up. If you get a second chance, man, be thankful. Thank that man up above.